Yo! Hey, hey, we're doing it. We might be drunk. We're back. We're here. Still hungover. Different day. It's a problem. <laughs> but hey, what's more appropriate than being hungover on, a, on an alcohol show? Speaking yeah. of hungover, last time I saw you, I was way worse. I was like handicapped hungover. Dana Hashem, everybody. Let her hear it. <laughs> you guys can clap or something if Mark says that. All right, there we go. All right. Is there somewhere I should be looking? No, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Look off into the distance. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Dina. We've got a little natty wine. We wanted to use the globe. Yeah. Ooh. Love a globe. I just found some natty wine. Ooh, nice. Looks good. Hell yeah. Is that Pharrell on the on the bottle there? Who is that? <laughs> What's that? Meryl Looks like Streep Pharrell. on there. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah, we Look might have to turn Dina's mic uh, full volume yeah, here. Totally. She's got the voice of a gay mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to get that cooking. You could have said quiet mouse. I don't know why you went with gay. Uh, going for comedy here. <laughs> gay people are funny. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Fire Island? I haven't. Is it good? Oh, it's great. Really? It's good, yeah. I heard it's great. It's Pride and Prejudice, right? Mm-hmm. Pretty much, which is also super gay. It but is. Yeah. Oh, you're going to crack that. All right. Notice a lot of these wine bottles are going unscrew now. No, so no, no. I like the cork. It's got a cork. I think corks are bad for the environment. Did you hear that? Corks? I don't... I don't know. Give that a goog. I think they're, it's like Keurig. The Keurig pods, they're ruining everything. Oh, for sure. I mean, well, plastic is just in general yeah. going to kill us. And Keurig coffee is dog shit. I'm drinking one right now. They're fucking horrible. Yeah, but they're so convenient. You got to admit, they're in every office in the in the country. Did I sell you on the grind and brew, though? Oh, I love the grind. Send in some more bags of coffee, by the way, folks. Are you a coffee person, Dina? I have become one my whole life. I never drank coffee, and then I had a cup, and I was like, oh, my whole personality was defined by not having coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so much better to live this way, but now I'm addicted to it. Like, it's I feel same. tired without it. I don't even enjoy it. It doesn't taste uh, good. I don't like the taste of it. The first cup when you're like, you ever sick for like 10 days, and then you just have one cup of coffee on day 11, and, and, the, and the coffee hits you so hard. Oh, it's the best. Well, you went you went 11 days without coffee? I, when I'm sick, I don't drink a ton of it. Oh, man. It's like just part of my, it's like brushing my teeth now. I just have a coffee. It's an antidepressant, I'm told, too. I'm like, oh, that really? makes sense. It is I not working it. on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell me what you think. This could be weird. Natural wine is always very funky. No sulfites. Oh, mm. A little cloudy. Okay. Yeah, it's very thick and, and it's more juicy than actual wine somehow. Yeah. It looks more like a juice. Tell me what you think. Ooh, that's pungent. My God. Damn, that's strong. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, Dina hates it. We can get we have other alcohol. It's if you very don't like it. tart. It smells. It's like sort of nail polish remover. I'm yes, getting, I'm getting hints of nail polish remover. Well, Mark and I like sucking on fingers, so oh, that's yeah. what we're doing. <laughs> um, I think it's kind of. I think you got to give it a minute, but I think this could be good. Oh, I like it. I'm into it. I'm I into like it. it better than regular. If you're not into it, Dean, I'll make you a cocktail. We got a full bar. Oh my god, that'd be really exciting. Uh, yeah. All right. What I do you What say, do you want? Do What um, do we have, Matt? Do we have a ton of shit? You want to mic me up and I'll go over there. I haven't seen you that appalled since you had bacon that one time. But... <laughs> well, this is my mom's worst nightmare. When I first started doing stand-up, she was like, I don't want you hanging around bars and men. And this <laughs> is just, it's beautiful. Your mom is very religious. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's a different person now. She's like chilled out, but she was a nightmare when I was growing up. Oh, really? My dad was the same way. Not like that. Muslim? Well, not, not he's not a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> but he was just the scary dad. And then he, as he got older, he just chilled out. And he's well, an old man now. Yeah. And he's like, how are you? Because they want to like, keep you in your life, in their life. And so exactly. They have to, yeah, exactly. And they're weak and tired, I think, also. So they're kind of, it's a survival thing. Like, yeah. I got to be nice. This guy can beat me up now. <laughs> Whereas as a kid, it's a hairy knuckled, you know, guy in a wife beater. Oof. What about, was a mom, uh, was she a hitter? Only once, only once when, she you know, you? one time, and I, I'm, see, it makes me feel bad to, like, tell bad stories about her because she's so nice and gentle now. Like, I don't mm. want that image oh, of her in the world. Oh, we don't have to world. put it out there. Um, what are we talking? Curvy sword? A wooden spoon? <laughs> yeah, she took a scimitar. Uh, <laughs> Is that what those are called? Uh, the curvy sword? Yeah, yeah a yeah. scimitar. Yeah. No, what, what do you like? like? 
Uh, I do tequila usually, but I'll have anything. Is this tequila? I think it was a uh, tequila is the top on the right side. I'm already uh, drunk from this wine. It's an, it's it's so strong. It's heavy duty. The natural wine is no is joke. Tequila soda or something? What do you like? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do we have lime? Salt soda? Lemon? Is that mint in there? I'd love we some. Do, we did mint julep. Oh yeah, this is our nice. second ep. So buckle up, sister. I love that you just drink all day for work. Not it's bad, really huh? <laughs> and then when we do stand up, we have a drink there. Oh yeah. I was literally just talking to a girl. She goes, "I have I have interviews all day." I'm like, "I gotta work too." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Not too shabby. Not too bad. Every comic on earth has done the joke, but it's such a great joke. You, you understand why things become hacky because they're actually they work. But he, he, you've heard the joke where the comic goes on stage, takes a swig, looks at his notes, checks his phone, and goes, "You're telling me when you get to work, you start right away." Yeah, yeah. Kills. Classic. Yeah, yeah, Classic. Yeah. Whoever the first person to think of that was, hats off. But I have no idea. It's I've heard it eight thousand times by nine different people. Dina, you were just writing for a show in uh, California. How was that? I was. It was really fun. It was my first time writing, like, a joke for something other than myself and then seeing it be used, like, in a script. Like, I'm excited to watch the show now to see, like, someone say my joke. And it's a very exciting it's an feeling. It's show, right? No, it's uh, Sex Lives of College Girls. Oh, but, but you were writing for an animation show before. Oh, before I was writing for a, for a Muzzy cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, a Muzzy cartoon. The first of its kind. It's hey, historic. groundbreaking. Yeah. <laughs> What's uh, what's what's the premise? Is it about a woman not talking? What do we? What, what's the? Uh... I, I, I wish that's that's. <laughs> um, no one's interested in showing the mu- female Muslim perspective. I have to complain. It's just it's really difficult. That's the one I want to see. Really? Well, the, the struggle is real. I mean, the the the, the burqa is that burqa? The burqa is part of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. and then the the rocks and the no driving. I think yeah, yeah, yeah. I think well, you know, Saudi Arabia is really playing. They give a lot of money to to American entertainment. They have a large stake in it. So this is my conspiracy theory that they're saying don't don't give anything to a Muslim woman. We can't. I see. I only like conspiracy theories that um, protect me from feeling <laughs> failure. That's, right, that's what right. I like. Do you ever get nervous about the backlash? Um, well, I, I mean, I'm sort of desensitized to it after a certain the, the, incident. I'm sorry, I was, I was over there. What The backlash from what? Like a Muslim backlash, I mean. Yeah, no, I think one day if I were to get some sort of like large special or something like that it, it could be it could be an issue but that's exciting like you know i guess you've dealt with it already you already got, like i feel like the worst that could happen you already got hit with and we don't have to talk about this if you don't i want don't it. care um well the thing is i think muslims would actually carry out their threats of violence exactly uh, <laughs> <Charlie> Hedbo. <laughs> <laughs> well that's an example <laughs> I don't know, but you said it in a funny way. That's oh, why we're laughing. Oh, oh, oh. Usually, you know, 9-11. <laughs> you know, like, that's why we're laughing. It was Katrina. funny. Katrina. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I could, but you dealt with it in a way that was so unfair where, like, I thought your joke was funny. Great I mean, joke. You posted a joke about this rapper who... Not even me. Comedy Central posted it. They posted it. it. Yeah. yeah. Good point. But... What we do as comics is we write topical jokes. I didn't think your joke was mocking a dead person. First off, I, I think comics kind of have free reign to yeah. begin with, but you made a joke that was like it's the perfect ad for Venmo because he got killed with a lot of money, right? Yeah, basically. That's a funny turn. I mean, and and it's not against him. No, in the joke, I say it's tragic that he died. So I. Exactly. They see blood. Young people on the internet see blood, and they're like, it's a way. It's sick. Well, it's just that fan base is, I mean, the guy who just got, um, who did, what, what, what was the last mass shooting? I, I lose track. What was the last one? Oh, the party. Uh, I mean, this the, is coming out in three weeks, so there'll be about five or ten more. <laughs> <laughs> the Chicago. Yes, yeah, so the guy who did that was like one of those guys. He was an emo rap guy with like the face tattoos. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. He probably sent me a death threat during that time. Probably. And, like, it, that's why I was so scared with like, the dog thing. It could only take one weirdo to like see your address and actually want to do something to you. That's true. That's true. Shit. Yeah, and that guy, it's like really the... The classy, well-read murderers are a thing of a past. Yeah, like the ones who like quote Shakespeare and like <laughs> like we talk, we were talking about John Wilkes Booth before. Like oh. he like shouted out something from Julius Caesar, right? right. Oh, Meanwhile, yeah. tyrants. Yeah, now now it's like when someone murders someone, they're like they're like it was something from uh, I don't fuck it. You it's, find got a face. SoundCloud, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. LimeWire or something. Right, I don't know. Right, my face tattoo. I mean, this dude was a fucking. I mean, losers well, understatement. But my my girlfriend 
tweeted something about R. Kelly, like, hey, I'm glad he's in jail. And she got a ton of shit. Like, yeah. And you're like, well, usually with him, t-? you get pissed. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Clip it. But, like, <laughs> what is uh, what is going on here? Like, you can't be mad at the guy who kept women in a dungeon and pissed on him and all that. Like, wh- wh- what are we doing here? You really want to be on yeah. that side of it in this Twitter fight? It's weird. Yeah, it is weird. I mean, but you know what? All it takes is those diehard fans. And, mm-hmm. and those people, like, they have fans, man. Oh, yeah. They... Would it be nice to have a fan base like that that would, like, kill for you and <laughs> sure. defend you to the death? It's Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah, but it's dangerous. Look, any mumble rapper, if there's one less, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm all for it. It's a shitty art or whatever you want to call it. It's a bad genre. It's got mumble in it. It sucks. How, how do you sell a dude that looks like that a gun, too? Like, he, that look is fucking terrible. If I saw a dude like that, I'm like, you just, I was on a bus. I went away out of the city for a few days, and I was on a bus, and there were two dudes that looked like that, and I was like, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> oh, you yeah. just think you're you just visualize like they're gonna just kill everyone on the bus yeah it's becoming more mainstream now it's actually gone into basic bitch culture like now you can find like white blonde girls with face tattoos it's becoming wow. a thing i got a message from a fan and she was like i got this face tattoo and i and i wrote back like a joke because i have this like app community where you can text you know you know that one i don't know this well they can text you it's like tech you know when people say in their instagram profile you can text me here yeah it goes to this it's not like my real number obviously ah. that'd be crazy but it's like a thing you can blast. It tells you the city they're in, so you can blast the city when you come. Whoa. So this woman texts me, and sometimes I respond, and she goes, I got this horrible face tattoo, and I wrote a joke back, and she goes, no, I'm serious, and she sends a picture, and she goes, it's it's like a Wiccan tattoo that's been appropriated by Nazis. I'm, uh. like, <laughs> I'm like, I mean, yeah, I mean, you lost me at face tattoo. It's yeah. already a bad idea, but right. you picked one that got that's like a Nazi. I love You have that. a Nazi face tattoo? <laughs> well, appropriated <laughs> by Nazis. That's a funny reason to be mad at Nazis. <laughs> they stole my idea. <laughs> wow. But it's like a picture where you're like, I was like, I made a joke. I thought she was kidding. Like, it sounds like something is like a joke. I don't yeah, know. yeah, but it is getting more normalized for sure. You see a guy with a face tattoo and it was like a teardrop mm-hmm. thing. He was in jail. He killed a guy, whatever. But now it's like a post Malone. There's more job opportunities. That's what it comes down to. You, you used to be, you used to get a, like a neck tattoo and it's like, you can't get a job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Remember that old Todd Berry joke? Yeah. I saw a guy with a neck tattoo the other day and you, you think, uh, man, you forgot to not do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great joke. Classic. So simple. Todd <laughs> yeah. Berry. Yeah, the face tattoo. I mean, it, it has to be that way. I mean, you have to keep ramping up. You but know? now how do you, sh- how do you prove now that you're really a freak? There's like no way to do it. Like, you have to be normal in order to Ooh. be counterculture. It's wow. just to look normal. It's hip to be square. Exactly. I think you're right. Exactly. That's punk. Khakis are punk. Yeah. Now. Yes. Dockers. Whoa. <laughs> easy there. Dude, the stainless dockers, those oh, khakis, those were those. made for alcoholics. Yeah. <laughs> those were made for drunks where you're like, you, you literally can spell it, nothing. Yeah. That's a gene. All pants should be stainless. You know who would be a great uh, spokesperson for that is Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> like, I should have been wearing these, you know? I are going to say Burke Kreischer. Oh, oh, wow. Well, that's a different stain. <laughs> but, yeah. But you, uh, so you're working on these shows, and you're in a writer's room, and this new one, it's Mindy Kalin, right? Yeah. And how, what season is it? Second season. I wasn't on the first season. Just. Trying. And it's like younger, it's younger characters, right? Yeah, they're all in in college, um, and they're just, uh, you know, fucking, doing a lot of fucking. Um, I have no experience, like, I could, I cannot bring any personal experience to the show, because I was still, like, a recovering Muslim in college. It's just funny that I'm... That's that hilarious. I'm That's the name of your sitcom, though. Recovering Muslim. That's the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're an AA. You're an MA. <laughs> Muslim Anonymous. <laughs> I'm trying to get over it. But... Uh, I mean, it's great you're getting experience in these rooms now because I, I, we need a Dina Hashem. Yes. We need. I've got it. I've got so many ready to go, and people are excited in a meeting, and then I imagine they get a call from like the royal family in Saudi Arabia. It's like, you can't. <laughs> you can't, do this, you can't. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. T- the TV world is The meetings tough. are so fun. They're the worst. We're huge fans. Well, you own a network. Yes, you can make <laughs> <Yeah>. it happen. <laughs> exactly. Well, look, we we look. If it was our choice, you're Netflix. It is your choice. Yeah, I it's know. like when Biden tweets, like, "Oh, this is terrible." It's like, yeah, you can do something <laughs> about it. <laughs> right. I right. think the Britney Griner shit. Just to me, I'm like, how are you not doing something about that? She's I know. in fucking prison. 
I think Trump got like ASAP Rocky or something. Yeah, but that was other... like Sweden or something. Oh, that was different. Sweden. That's, yeah, yeah. Russia's a different animal. Like I, I'll give you that. Yeah. But also, like, dude, she's like, it's like 100 days. I mean, more when this comes out. Hopefully she's out. But I mean, that's like, and it was that CB- breaks you. It was CBD yeah. oil. It was like the least uh, hash harmful oil. or hash it was, oil. It was, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds You don't want to be the person that corrects the guy there. It was actually, it was hash, which is still uh, fucking uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't still know that. Nothing. But they're athletes. They got joint issues. Exactly. You know? It's helpful. It's, it's medicinal. Come and on. then LeBron got a ton of shit because he said something like, "If I if that was me, I wouldn't even. I don't even know if I'd want to come back to America because they're not fighting." But then he was saying like, "No, I love America. I'm just saying. Mm. I'm yeah. just saying that I would feel hurt that they're not trying to fight to get me back." Well, we need you to tweet about it because <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently that makes waves. <laughs> but yeah, that is, I mean, that's one. Come on, that's one call. That's all. Yeah, but they probably Russia probably wants us to trade like a terrorist for him. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. That's probably the move. They're like, we'll give you this uh, innocent M- WNBA player, but you got to give us a guy who slit someone's throat. Give him no Yakov. <laughs> yeah, take Yakov. We'll call it even. <laughs> that's an old reference that three, three people got. Do any of our listeners know Yakov Smirnov? I don't know. You don't, Peters? Okay, okay. He's He was big. He was huge. He's still in L.A., I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice guy. Nice guy. You met him? I've met him. I met him at the store once. Sweet guy. Funny guy. He's the in Soviet Russia guy. Yes. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Soviet Russia. Car drives you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> but it was a hit. It was, it was the uh, get her done of his yes. day. Yes. Yeah. He's the Russia. Yeah. Yeah. Son. He's uh, Larry the... What, what's this wine's growing on me. Guy. I'm, I'm getting into it. I'm sorry you hated it, Dana. It's all right. I mean, in my mind, I like organic stuff, but this is not it. <laughs> it's weird. It's vinegary. You know what it? You know what it tastes like the first time you taste your mom's wine, and you're like, oh, that's what this tastes like. It takes like. me back. Yeah, I like it. What Ooh, about? Uh, it's got a kick. Yeah, it is tough. Uh, what the hell were you thinking? Where was that orange one you had last time? I like to mix it up. Right. Why do we always have to do orange one? I want to. I want to fucking experience shit, dude. <laughs> and you're like, should Peters get it or should I get it? I'm like, you get it. You'll get the right one, and then you come back with old. Uh... I rolled the dice. They reckon they said this was a really good one. Ooh, this is this feels like Welch's. Somebody jizzed in a Welch's. <laughs> All right, sorry, we got a guest here. <laughs> I fucked up. Nah, you're fine. I'm not to be trusted anymore. I no. get it. It's natural though. At least it's natural. This is uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be just always apologize. This is my relationship dynamic. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. So wait, uh, back to the writers' room because I don't. I've only been in like two writers' rooms, and it was for a, award shows. Um. And uh, so that's easy because it's in and out. It shoots once. This is a TV show that has multiple episodes. But uh, would you prefer stand up, or do you like do you like to mix it up, or do both? My ideal world is that I have my own show and I can like create oh. the room and have like people like my friends in it. That seems like the most fun thing to me, just having a room of your friends and like coming up with jokes and stuff. Yeah. It's a little harder with people you don't know because you don't know if your sense of humor is will like clash or something like right. that. But I got lucky in that room. Everyone was really funny and cool. But were there stand ups or were they all just pure writers? No stand ups, yeah. Ah, writers rooms are actually great for improv people. It's mm. like the one thing they really should do and like have the skill for because you're just <laughs> sitting in a room and saying whatever comes to your head. So. Right. Mm. Yeah, they can they can keep the ball in the air. Exactly. Whereas with stand up, I'm like I want it's my like little dark art. I want to be in a room secluded and writing things, but that's not how it works. Exactly. And stand ups are all about the end of the joke. We want the punchline, and that's it. And they're like they can just keep yes anding volley, mm-hmm. volley, and they mm-hmm. find more stuff. Probably. Yeah, they're team players, right? Stand ups exactly. are selfish as fuck. Exactly. Oh, we're yeah. such selfish people. <laughs> I know. We're really brutal. It's true. I was talking to my therapist today, and I was like, I'm selfish. And I was like hoping he would be like, you're not. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Good therapist. Are they allowed to be honest with you like that? They I've have never gone to uh, They should be. I like it. Yeah. <sighs> the writer's room. You know what seems like a fun writer's room was uh, I watched a documentary on Arrested Development. And it's just the funnest. Uh, it was right before that time where, like, things got a little dicey and you couldn't say this or that. And uh, they were they said crazy shit on Arrested Development. And the writers' room just looks so fun, mm-hmm. and they're all drunk. That guy Chuck Martin, who's at the cellar sometimes, he's oh, a, he-, he was an Arrested Development. Oh, guy. yeah, he's funny. He was a producer in there, I think. It just seemed yeah. like they were friends being funny, and then they made a show around that. 
That's the yeah. dream, right? Like we used to watch. You see those clips of those like Friars Club roasts, and they're just buddies oh, shitting yeah. on each Best. other. As opposed to now, it's like a hired gun being like, "Hey, Chevy Chase, no one likes you." And he's like, "No, <laughs> that'll happen." <laughs> well, they both use the N word, Chevy Chase and the Friars. But yeah, those roasts did seem fun. But who knows? They probably walked off stage and hit a hit a lady, or who knows? Yeah, those are different. Times. No, they were. They. Were, I'm not saying they were model citizens, but yeah. I just meant the vibe of like the friendship culture. Is, uh, yeah, is it's true. Oh, now Dina, it's like, Dina's the hiccups. Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. Is uh, it the tequila? Is, do you get hiccups when you drink? I, I mean, you know this. I have them every day anyway, but carbonation definitely triggers it. Damn. Sure. Hiccups she, every day. She gets the hiccups a lot. Every few hours. How do, you, how do you kill that? It's just a disease. I don't know. Oh, is it a disease? I mean, I don't know. I've had them every day since I was like 14, so. Well, like for about a half hour or so? Well, I get like three, and then it's over, and then a few hours later, I'll get like three more. It's just that's some sort of diaphragm thing. I don't know. Wow, that's a wild ailment. The scaring doesn't work, right? No, no. What, but people try. People try. I know. I've tried. <laughs> I, we've been in the green room, like boom, and she's like, "Stop! Don't do that! Don't do that!" <laughs> You're like, "You're off the show." What? All right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, geez. So, Is there a name for that? I don't know. I went to a doctor once when I was young, and they were just like, get out of here. You know? Like, <laughs> this is not important. Who cares? That not is really. True. Yeah. He's, he's got a cancer patient in the other <laughs> room. He's like, I have hiccups. <laughs> Please. Uh, every day. But they're really annoying. I get three of them. Come on. That's <laughs> <laughs> a respirator. Is the is it drink okay? It's great. Okay, what was good. this? Just tequila soda? It's just tequila soda. I was keeping it simple here. Nice. Well, I thought we had a more impressive bar, Matt. We got to get some fucking... Hey, if you're listening, send us some fucking alcohol to Gotham <laughs> Studios so we don't have to pay for it. But uh, here, here. we need some gin. I mean, like you, look, you never know when you want to have a, a Negroni. I mean, there's like basic cocktails. We got to have we got uh, Tom Papa coming in next week. We need vodka and gin for a martini. I mean, oh, he's, he's a martini drinker. That you guy. got that right. I mean, that's, we, that's a good one. We 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 get. just need the you just need to have a full bar if we yeah. got the studio. You have to get fun mixers. Like elderflower is really in right now. What is that? I don't know. It's like a, it's like an herb, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's yeah. one of those things. Oh, all right. You know what elderflower is? I've never heard of elderflower in my life. I'm not against it. It's an older it. flower. I guess it is. I don't know what it is. Is that like a really old virgin? I don't know what that is. <laughs> but yeah, I'm down. But you yeah, know, it'd be we, nice to have a mini fridge with a bunch of well, soda water and Well, and we do have LaCroix. that. We have, the, we have it right there. We have a mini oh. fridge. What are you talking about? Well, maybe some like, um, you know, what do you call it? Bloody Mary mix, some limes yes. in there, yeah, you know. Xanax, Bloody Mary's yeah. is big for this because we come in here feeling like dog shit a lot. Love and then we have to it. work. And then we yes. have to talk. We're doing our job. How did So the first writing uh, job, was that like, did you submit or was that you were you brought in? or The how first did that one go? was just through Rami. Just cause, Rami Youssef. Yeah good dude yeah. yeah um yeah he has that's the muzzy cartoon that's going to be coming out oh. at some point Ooh, um hell yeah. and it's also my first voice acting gig which is something i really just have always wanted to do you have a great voice it's about thank time you you do thank you and you someone finally beautiful. noticed and <laughs> i mean some would say it's a gay mouse but i think it's wonderful <laughs> i think it's very nice well actually <laughs> the role <laughs> the role i got is not far from that it's a suicidal lamb is oh, what I mean. like, which isn't similar. that me that's me that's you yeah. they nailed it now if it has a hiccup problem <laughs> <laughs> We're in. A suicidal lamb. That's that sounds like a hell of a punk band. <laughs> suicidal lamb. Voiceover is the the dream gig. Oh. I look at Hank Azaria. I'm like, that's like the dream career. Oh, yeah. The best. Aside from the documentary made against you by Hari. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. a good it's a good career. That's yeah. But he also does like nine voices too. Yeah. Like some people are like you're just gonna do your voice. I'm not saying you're not talented. I, whatever. I was watching his show Brockmire. It's a really good show. Mm-hmm. I gotta get on. Yeah, that. it is fun. It's really fucking good. Yeah, it's like he's just a great actor, oh, and he's, he's so a good. talent. I mean, Birdcage, he fucking so killed it. He's, and he's in all these great '90s movies you forget about, like Heat, Gross Point Blank. Hank, if you're listening, I emailed you and you never responded. <laughs> I'm serious, you never responded to our email. We met once at a dinner and it didn't really work out. Well, uh, I think he's scared of comics after Hari. You know? I know. He's well, like, well I we like him. This. You know what happened? I would like William Morris, our agency, set up a dinner. And it was like just a bunch of people, and I sat down, and I didn't plan it. I just sat down next to Hank Azaria, and I'm like, "Holy shit, I'm sitting next to Hank Azaria. Wow. This is cool." And then I got up to, t- we were, you know, it was winter. I got up to hang up my jacket. As I get up, someone sniped and took my seat. Oh. That was a coveted seat. I'm on the other end. Oh, I had no end. Damn. <laughs> Come on, Hank. We need you. Oh. 
talk about being a voiceover guy. Like as comics, we go, "Oh, you're a comedian. Tell me a joke." He must be like, "Come on, give me Mo, <laughs> give me Barney." Oh, we would do that. Oh my no, god, he's not Barney. That's Dan Castellanato. Oh but, shit, but he does like Mo. Who does he? Who does Hank Azaria voice in the Simpsons? Groundskeeper Willie, maybe. Does he really? I think so. Auto? Does he do auto? He might do auto. Yeah. The he's also in driver. Gross Point Blank, which is one of my favorite '90s comedies. Great movie. He's in Heat. He's in a lot of great movies. Crazy. He's in Heat. Oh, he does Dude, comic, comic book, book guy. guy. Snake. Oh. Doctor Nick. Oh, Chief Dr. Wiggum. Nick Mo. Is a, is Damn. Amazing. He's. These are some classics. Wow. And you know they had another Mo, but apparently. The guy was a dick, and they just got rid of him. Oh, entirely. really? Mm-hmm. Well, they nailed it. Look at Apu's last name. It's hilarious. Oh, he does Lou and Wiggum. Man, Kirk Van Houten, Disco Stew. <laughs> Disco Stew. Oh, my God. See, it's impossible to get these jobs because there's, like, three people who can do anything that you want. Like, John DiMaggio and other – he does, like, Bender and, like, every other – Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy's really. amazing. So good. Remember when we did that, that funeral home in L.A. and Mel Blanc's tombstone <laughs> yes, was in there? Yes. Whoa. Uh, what's that place called? Masonic uh, Lodge. Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got that, that cemetery right there. Mel Blanc. Yeah. His, his tombstone Bugs just Bunny. says, that's all, folks. Oh! oh so How fucking cool is that? Oh, that's the best. But that guy did every voice. Every he was like a savant. That guy, yeah. next level. Yeah. So do you? You're getting a double paycheck because you're writing and voicing. Um. Yeah, I wrote on the first season, and now I'm voicing. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. And that's on Amazon. It didn't. It's still being like animated and stuff. It takes forever for yeah. a cartoon to get made. But I don't know when it'll come out. But when it does, I'll be the suicidal lamb. <laughs> What's the name of the show? I don't think it's been named yet. I'm not mm. sure. Damn. Interesting. Right. Yeah. We'll look out. They, well, you'll you'll hear about it. I don't Follow even know if I'm allowed to talk about it. Social. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to break your uh, bubble here, but there is a cartoon already called Moozy. Moozy. Pull it up. It's a French cartoon. I had to watch when I was learning French as a kid. Oh, Muzzy. Muzzy. Oh my god, I've been saying Muzzy so often as like a nickname for Muslim, and I totally blanked that that's a word. So that, well, I'm just saying that can't be the name of the the new one, oh, the new cartoon. Bummer. Uh, this wine's growing on me. Yeah, it's getting there. You know what's good? This natty wine gives you no hangover. That's true. I was drinking it. There it is. Ooh, look at that. I remember the commercials. Oh, yeah. That was big in, in my school. Dude, what was the show that... Uh, there was a show that they used to show in my school. It was Ben Affleck was a kid. Voyage of the Mimi. Remember that shit? No, nah, I think it's Meme. <laughs> <laughs> my dad still says Mimi. Have you seen this meme about Elon Musk? Yeah, it's Ben Affleck on that shit. What? Look at that. He's blonde. Wow. wow. Too cute. Oh, uh, Kevin Spacey's cut. getting hard somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the kid in Big Daddy. It's fucking crazy. Oh, it's yeah. Really the same haircut. Oh, Philip Seymour Hall. Yeah, he's classic in it. Gwyneth Paltrow. Who plays the British guy who's really great in it? The br- oh, like the older guy? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Jude yeah. Law's dad, you mean? Yeah. I don't know, but... Great movie. Oh, and Philip Seymour Hoffman, my favorite actor Kate of all time. Blanchett. I forgot she's in this shit. Holy crap. Oh, Baker Hall. Ooh, Baker Hall, who just passed away. R.I.P. to a legend. Wow. Je- James Rebhorn, that's who the dad. Okay, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Who also passed away recently, uh, who's an amazing character actor but and is in every movie you've ever seen. Blanchett. PSH has such a small role and somehow steals the whole movie. He's yeah. such a creep in it. I love it. Boogie Nights, he did the same, exactly. same thing. Exactly. He always did that. He was incredible. Incredible. I saw him. He's great Magnolia, too. But I saw him on uh, Second Avenue once, and it wasn't a pretty sight. Oh. He was barreling down Second Avenue, and everybody's like jumping out of his way. And he, he clearly had something something going on. Cape Blanchett has somehow gotten hotter. I don't oh, know how it's happened. Oh, so hot. That last movie, she's in Nightmare Alley. Not a great movie, but she is so hot. That's in interesting. I mean, the word, I would classify her Ooh. as beautiful. Look at that. Hot. I mean. No, she's hot. Really? Okay. Go to the one in the red with the hair uh, up. Yeah, that one. Woo, look at those cheekbones, baby. Come on. Sit right on my face. I love that. <laughs> I love loving an older woman. That's so nice. Oh, I love older women. You, like know, older women. you know who else is getting hotter? And this is a weird one. But it's Tilda Swinton. Oh, love Similar her. vibe. They're both, Similar vibe. Yeah. Kind of strange looking. Tilda's but it very works. androgynous. I love androgyny. It's my favorite. Yeah, look at that. She was hot in Trainwreck. That was not an androgynous role, though. She's no. very, very feminine, that role. I love a, you know, Laura Dern. 
in the in a marriage story. I think is that what it's called? Marriage I story. I haven't seen that. Oh, oh, you got to see great it. Movie. Really? Unreal. Yeah, yeah, the acting. It's so passionate. Excellent movie. That's like modern Tear day Jerker. Kramer versus Kramer. Yes. yes. I don't like the guy. What's his act? What's Driver. His yeah, He's I don't get it with him. Really? It's a great movie. Oh yeah. I mean, Noah Baumbach. That. Yeah, that's a that's a great movie. Yeah, great movie. I mean, talk about just like raw passion Incredible. acting. It's all script. It's all shockingly good. Okay. Like, like Very I didn't good. expect. I mean, I I'm with Norman. I think it's like it it de- it de- uh, delivers a blow, especially as someone who's only dated people on who want to live in California. <laughs> nah. it, it, it it delivered a real fucking gut punch to me. Right? But yeah. I mean, R.I.P. Ray Liotta, who's great in oh, it. Yes. Laura oh, yeah. Dern is great in it. I mean, it's a it's a really solid movie if you ever had a bad breakup this is gonna hit a nerve okay yeah um, she's who else uh hold on i had another thing oh wait you don't like adam driver I, he's one i never got i don't get it with him i don't get it either he's a great actor. look at that face that's the face of the devil people think he's attractive uh, I, who gives a fuck I, dustin hoffman was a leading man who gives it does, he's cute hoffman's he's, cute a young hoff like driver is uh appalling i think talent should trump Everything and I think he's talented. Is he? The, I've, to he be honest, talented. I've only seen him in Star Wars. So, oh come on! Yeah, man. he looks fucking good here. What do we talk? What do we talk? <laughs> Facially, and he's a marine, by the way. He was a marine, right? Yeah, he's a badass. That and he's, hurt. I think he's a really good actor. Great actor. No one denying the acting. I'm a fan. Ah, I'm drinking here. Come on, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm joking, I'm driver. I think he's great. I did. I a, heard Patterson's great too. I've never seen it. I heard it's good, too. I don't know, Patterson. I like that it's about Jersey. I feel like that would be your type of movie. It's like a brooding poet type thing, you know? Yeah, and it's Jersey, right? Patterson, New Jersey. Jersey. Ah, interesting. Whenever I drive through there, I always think, somebody should make a movie about this town. (laughs) (laughs) I did the Patrice O'Neill benefit, and he was in the audience. Really? Yeah, that was fun. I did that once. I did a really crazy one. What does that mean? Oh, the lineup was just Oh, yeah, yeah. But it it was a great time, man. That's a great... Theater, great Town event. Hall. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, pretty, pretty epic. Yeah, he was there, and uh, he came backstage, and Bill Burr was talking to him. Oh, wow. And by the way, he's like 6'4 or something. Yeah. And Bill Burr's like, hey, and he's like, what are you doing here? He's like, I'm, I'm doing a movie about a performer, and I want to watch. That's a little, that's made, that would make me uncomfortable. <laughs> well, An actor being like, I'm studying your movements. You're right. like, Ugh, just fucking laugh or don't. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, why? Do, I mean, I think it's cool when actors aren't like typical looking. I, I like when, uh, like, we're talking about Tilda Swinton. Why can't we have this guy? You know, I'm not saying we can't have him. I'm just saying every every girl I talk to is like, oh, Adam Driver, he's the sexiest man alive, or whatever. I'm like, all right, I've seen the face, <laughs> but I think the face who, who, for a lady is like important. an actor that you're like, that dude's hot. Uh, I hesitate to say just because I'm such a loyal girlfriend, and he, I know uh, he's going to watch this. These oh, are celebrities, though. I know. I, I'm just that's how good of a person I am. Wow, you're a good fucking person. <laughs> I know, right? Isn't Damn, crazy? you won't even give it. Uh, yeah, I respect that. How about like from like the 40s or 50s? That way, it's not they're dead. They're dead. Let's go dead men. All right. I mean, uh, 60s. You like a honky? Uh, <laughs> you're not. You're not too into the. Uh... No, I'm. I've dated every kind oh, okay, of person. Okay. I don't care at all. There's no pattern between everyone I've been with. They all look different. Mm. Um, I mean, he's gay, but like Rock Hudson is obviously really. Uh, what do you mean? Everybody loved Rock. I've just never heard that. I like it. He's got AIDS. <laughs> that was the catch. You get to bang Rock Hudson, but you do get AIDS. <laughs> I never knew he was a, a, he's a handsome guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, I guess I you're mean, right. Look at that <laughs> jaw. Look, he's got the the manly chin too. I am actually rarely attracted to men. I think it's really unfair that huh? we, women, on the whole, are so much more attractive oh, than we, men, we right? One, I mean, yeah. look, we're drinking. We'll go with you all day on this one. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I would. I'll, I'll say this right now. I would much rather fuck a woman than a man. <laughs> yeah, I don't care who I piss off. I think I'm with you. I mean, every day on the train, there's like a, twenty beautiful women. Just you can just turn your head and see one. But men, it's like never. never My body's yeah. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I look terrible shirtless. Yeah, I don't know. Like the fact that women can be turned on by like talent and charm and personality is that's our only saving grace. Thank God. Right. Thank God. But oh you don't God. care about that in women. You don't care. We care. We care. But it doesn't. It's, a, it's it definitely elevates them for sure. Definitely elevates. If a woman is self aware, smart, funny, personality when you're young doesn't matter. You're right. just turned on. But when you get older, yeah, I, I very much value a 
a great personality. Okay. It's huge, especially if you want to like talk about dating and you know becoming uh, more of a thing. You definitely I, need all that. I go stuff. on some bad first dates. I do. I get a lot of like, you can use this in your act. I'm like, well, uh, let, me, let me use this instead. Uh, oh. yeah, right. Blow my fucking head off. <laughs> a little uh, Kurt Cobain. <laughs> no, it's. I mean, look, there's. Women look the other way on looks for sure. Men, we do look the other way on personality a lot because we value looks. But what I mean so is like, is... you're less likely to go for a woman who's like average looking, but who has like, like very accomplished and talented. Like you need the attraction, whereas you need it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think men are much more wired. shallow. And we're yeah. yeah, we're just wired that way. It's kind of like biology. Hey, reproduce, good offspring, whatever, and then the other stuff will come later. But also, how are you supposed to know the personality immediately? You can see a woman walk by and go, holy shit, she's gorgeous. But it's not like you can go, she's funny or smart or whatever because mm -hmm. you got to have a conversation. I just think a lot of men are just, we're just shallow. I think we're just often looking for like, <laughs> this is going to sound crass, where we can dump our next load. Whoa, wait, ah, oh, jeez. Well, that's inappropriate. <laughs> I walked Mark. <laughs> you, no, you, but you I, I, I do think... Now? <laughs> what? I said, are you writing for Hallmark these days? <laughs> 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 Happy Valentine's. No, I think when you're in a relationship, you, like, look, I very much value a relationship when I'm in it, but I think a lot of guys... Does that sound terrible? I think a lot of guys are, are very much of course, shallow and looking where... How we are. Yeah, I do think that. Like, I it's a fact. It's if you meet someone great, of course, like monogamy, one woman, I'm all in. But when you're not, when you're seeking them out, I do think there is like a. Think about how much more men masturbate than women. Yeah, is that wrong? I don't know. How, um, that's probably true. I, I'm not the right person to ask. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Her mom's listening too. <laughs> uh, my gal, Matt. Well, here's what's weird. I, I. You know, for a guy, it's like an oil change. You knock it out, you're done, whatever. My gal will rub one out for like two hours. Really? Yeah, but rarely. Maybe like once a week or twice a week, but... It's how long an Adam Driver movie is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So uh, that's the difference. I I'm done in 30 seconds, 40 seconds, you know. One, uh, you know... Once a A R P commercial, and I'm done. <laughs> you know, but she's got a... She, goes, she watches three modern families... Damn. Wait, so you know when she, she loves that O'Neill? You know this? Uh, she'll she'll tell me. I'm like, hey, where I, I called you earlier? She's like, oh, I was rubbing one out. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're very open. Damn. Yeah, I just I'm not. I think once you're in, you're in. But I do think there is like a a lot of guys on apps are just looking for sex. I think of course, you know. And I think a lot of women on there are like long term only, no you know? hookups. Yeah, I think that's why they have to put that out there because they know that guys are shit. Sure. I think that's changing, though. I think there's a lot of women who also just want to hook up, but yeah, it's like, I don't know, maybe weirder to say that out loud. I don't know. Yeah, it shouldn't be. I feel like we've, you know, we say, well, society, this and that. It's like, well, let's change it. You know, like, I think well, guys we try so little already to begin with. The effort is so minimal on these dates that like if a woman right. said that, they'd put in zero effort. <laughs> right. no, no woman wants a guy to be like, come over. That's a good point. <laughs> you know? That's right. what it is. But don't you ever just want, I mean, I know you're in a uh, super hardcore relationship here. You can't even talk about a celebrity you, you're attracted to. <laughs> but... Uh, Tony Dan's in Taxi. That's what... Uh, uh, he was cute. <laughs> he was cute. But... I forgot my point. You, you said Tony She's Danza. She's in a hardcore relationship. Uh -huh. uh, uh, wanting to hook up just to hook up? Yeah, yeah. Don't you ever just have that? When With, I was when you 25, were single? when I turned 25, that was the point when I was able to have a one-night stand. Before that, I couldn't imagine really? having sex with someone who I wasn't emotionally attracted to. Mm. I don't know what happened when I turned 25, but suddenly I was able to hook up with a comedian who uh, was only able to accept a blowjob before it coming and then handed me a Clorox wipe and said, I have to go to sleep now. Wow. A Clorox wipe? <laughs> Bill Cosby, everybody. <laughs> wow. Jesus Who is Christ. this guy? I won't. Like, I mean, a Clorox wipe? He was just like a goofball. He didn't know what he was doing. You know? <laughs> Man, you're so cool. <laughs> I'm going to try cool that. Dina that. She's like, he's a character. Instead of just wow. a fucking egregious scumbag. No, I got to fuck you in the really... ass. I'm a goofball. <laughs> He was a really nice guy. He just he warned me that he was out of practice with women. I was like, "That's fine. I'm horny. Let's just go." Yeah, and uh, he wasn't lying. So wow. I'm out of practice with women. You, you come. You're like, 
Lunchables? What do we do? I don't I don't know what we do here. You know, you walk on a plane and they hand you that wipe. That's what Dina does when this guy would come over. Here you go. All right. It's right when you walk in. Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, look, the single stuff is it is interesting. It, it is wild out there. I do I don't envy women like no. for what they have to put up with and what they have to deal with on first dates. And I think the apps kind of hurt you guys in the uh, negotiation department. Because before it was just like, I got to take this girl out. I got to buy her drinks just to like maybe get a shot at grabbing a boob. And now I feel like it's Tinder is just like ramped all that up. And the woman has no bargaining chip anymore, really. Mm, mm. But you tell me, you're, you're the you're the gash. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, that's my stage name. Uh... <laughs> but, you know, I feel like that. Uh, women had a lot more power before because it was like, hey, you know, you want to you want to hook up with me? Well, I mean, there's debates about this. Yeah, like birth control would like change the game. Where right. it's like now you don't have to find a partner that's like willing to provide and all this. And I don't know. I think we're all monsters, to be honest. I agree with that. I agree. <laughs> like I've had some experiences recently that make me agree with that for sure. Oh yeah. Where I'm just like, wow, people are fucking lunatics. Yeah. On both sides. And then alcohol fuels the lunaticness. I do feel like I'm the guy that women are like, I'll fuck him just to show my ex. And I'm just like, I didn't need this. I, you was, know? I was that guy too. And I was like, I'll be that guy. And it still bugged me. It bugged me because then occasionally you get the woman who's just like, you're like, is everything cool? And they're like, oh. and you're like, you miss him. She's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, we don't have to have sex. Oh, and you're like, yeah, oh, shit. Yeah. I had a guy text me once. He's like, this is when I first started doing comedy, like 2006. He's like, did you fuck my uh, whatever? And I was like, oh, I didn't know she was your ex. And he's like, you piece of shit. I ought to come fight you. And I'm like, well, first of all, you're done. You, you guys are exes. Like, you're allowed to fuck someone's ex. And then he's like, well, she only did it to get back at me. And I was like, yeah, whatever, asshole. And then it's just stuck with me. And then I texted her when I was drunk. And I was like, I thought you liked me and all this. And she was like, grow up, you pussy. And I was like, Whoa. oh, jeez. Oh, but I was also like 21. This chick sounds hot. She was so hot. Grow up, you pussy. And I'm glad I got to have sex with her. I was very lucky because she was way out of my league. But I didn't think that would bother me, and it did. Wow. Yeah. Damn. The summer months are here. Time to stay fueled and hydrated. Making hydration a priority helps us feel healthier in our everyday lives. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone. Liquid IV products taste great with 10 great flavors like Concord Grape, Lemon Lime, Tropical Punch. I love the I love the punch. That's my go-to oh, right yeah. there. It's terrific. Use liquid IV first thing in the morning. Before a workout, when you feel run down after a long night out, which we're, what we're doing here. Oh, yeah. Got to manage that hydration. You know, had a few too many bodega cats. You, you got that know. right. The single serve packaging helps keep you hydrated while on the go. I, I definitely have used this, uh, and I know you have too. I'm a daily at this point. Liquid IV contains five essential vitamins, B3, 5, 6, 12, and vitamin C. It contains three times the electro uh, electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. Made with premium ingredients, Liquid IV is free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Liquid IV uses cellular transport technology designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into the bloodstream. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code DRUNK at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code DRUNK at liquidiv.com. Fume is the safe way to quit smoking. Fume is 100% Canadian maple handcrafted inhaler is made to replace the hand-to-mouth habit. Simply insert their non-addictive flavored cores... Uh, fume cores come in dozens of flavors like peppermint, lemon berry bliss. Ooh. Yeah, the flavors are good. They taste nice. I love the little pipe inhaler thing. It's so cool. Fun to suck on, fun to put in your mouth. There's no smoke, no vape, and no nicotine to worry about. Even if you're not trying to quit smoking, fumes core can help with relaxation, energy, and more. Whether you're a smoker or an ex-smoker who still struggles with cravings, fume is the perfect tool for you. It's time to create positive habits and quit naturally with fume. And we're here to make it easier. Head to fume.com slash drunk. Use promo code drunk to save 10% off your whole order. 
Save money by eliminating cigarettes and save on your initial purchase of Fume. That's 10% off your entire order at B-R-E-A-T-H-E-F-U-M dot com slash drunk and use code DRUNK. Dina, do you have any peeves? Oh, yeah. Um, so Wet I... Wet wipes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want um, outside clothes to be inside. Mm. Like, when I... Like, if I... I make my boyfriend change his clothes if he wants to get into my bed, if he Whoa. was wearing clothes that were worn outside. I think that's normal, though. No. I no. rebelled against this for a period, and I've understood that women feel this way. I, I, I hear this. I mean, the jeans that were on the subway yeah. in the bed, you sleep. I understand that. Yeah, interesting. I never thought about it. Makes mm. sense. It does. I mean, I, I definitely rebelled, and I remember I dated a woman who I mocked for this, and then in retrospect, I was kind of like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, what about shoes off? Shoes have to be off. Um, I had a, I was dating a guy and we were like in an argument, in the middle of an argument. And then we went back to my room while we were still arguing and he was about to step in with his shoes on. I was like, what are you doing? Take your shoes off. And he was so pissed because of the argument that he stepped in and started stomping on the floor. And oh. like, I wanted to be angry, but the comedian me was like, that's really funny. And like, yeah, started that's laughing. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> that is the thing. Like, if you land a great joke, heated argument, it's a great bomb diffuser. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It kills the tension. Yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. man. I didn't know you were this much of a neat freak. I'm not really. No, no, no. I re- I'm really not. This is the one thing that I'm like obsessive about cleaning with. Right. Interesting. It is um, the bed. I understand like if someone holds their bed like sacred yeah. where you're like, don't fuck with my the place I sleep. I get that. Yeah. I get I, it more and more. Did you have the friend growing up who was like, I have to change into my sleep clothes? I was like, sleep clothes? I just go with a boxer and the shirt. Yeah, I never. I, I, yeah, I was always an underwear guy. I never, yeah, I have sleep clothes. Interesting. What are sleep clothes? Just like a huge T-shirt. Uh huh. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's. I feel like that's the PJs. Any PJ friends? That's fucking weird. No, I don't have like designated like matching PJ my, set. My oh. gal's got it. She's got the full button with the pocket. Wow. I'm like, what are you wearing? Like a little tux? She a Mad Men? What the hell? <laughs> I know, that's... right? Like a smoking jacket, and the a hat, pipe, the like snooty yeah, hat. Yeah, like, she yeah. married yeah. to Pete Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> But it's it's very strange. But it's uh, I think it's just a, how you get brought up. Peeve. Oh, here's a peeve for you. What's going on with this one? The hard to find garbage can. I'm at a friend's house. I got a banana peel in my hand and a beer can in the other one, and I'm like opening drawers. Turns out it was like one of those slide out garbage cans, but it was like this slim drawer that's under the sink. I would have never. I I I couldn't find it. Just put the garbage can out. Yeah, I don't like the weird drawer garbage cans. Yeah. They piss me off. Like, you got to press a button, it rolls in. Right, like, oh, right. So I'm just holding garbage for 12 minutes, like, looking around and everything. Where, 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 are, you, where are you at on the garbage can? <laughs> I'm trying to think of where my garbage can is. It's out in the open. It's next to the dog food. All right. Um, Do you have a dog? I have half a dog. It's uh, it's my roommate's dog. But oh, boy. He's my best friend, and we went to adopt the dog together, so I consider the dog half mine. Right. Um, yeah, he's the best. I grew up Muslim, and we're not allowed to have dogs. And Is wow. that right? Yeah. Why not? Whoa. It's an abusive religion. I don't know. It's just like it's <laughs> They don't let you have a dog? Answer. Yeah, it's like pork is considered filthy, and then dogs too. And I, it's not clear to me why. It's just like an arbitrary thing. And I, th- I understand. Yeah. Like I, I don't agree with, but I understand why the pork is a no go. But why I don't get the Jew. dog? I think it just <laughs> you, know, uh, you pick the one thing that you guys also do. <laughs> why, why eat pork? I know I'm just kidding, but 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 the dog thing I don't understand. Well, it's sad because I look. I, this is a big generalization about Muslims, but like I feel like dogs cleavage and bacon would really lighten the mood <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even know about the dog thing dogs like relieve stress they can make we get mark a meeting with mohammed <laughs> i think i think mark could really change the vibe <laughs> mohammed love what you're doing if we could just loosen up on the women the pork and Shave maybe the, the beard maybe that beard's ridiculous it's the really hot out it's yes. really hot. <laughs> it's a lot of sand 
Come on. <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah, so it's no life dog? changing. It's life changing. Would you do you think you would get your own? Do you think you maybe you and your guy move full time together? Do you think you get a dog? I can never live without a dog anymore. I just it's so pacifying to just look at him and say, "Oh yeah, the simple pleasures of life are just like eating, going on a walk, like licking your asshole, whatever." Right. It's yeah. just like simple pleasures. We're getting it licked. Yeah. <laughs> Shingles right. has this great joke about how down syndrome kids are like dogs they're always happy they mean well they're in great it's a, i'm not gonna do his bit because i don't know if it's out there yet but it's so true the dog it's nothing but positive it's rarely you know sure they'll shit somewhere every now and then or puke on the carpet but it's all an upper it's just one big valium they're love machines which is what humans are supposed to be but we get all screwed up screwed up thanks twitter <laughs> It really does fuck you up. Yeah, yeah. You look at I, sometimes I'm in a bad mood. I'm like, why not a bad mood? I'm like, oh, I looked at Twitter too much. I, oh, I stopped. I, you have to stop looking at it, and it'll yeah. change your life. The algorithm will punish you, and you'll never be able to get a tweet again that has a lot of likes. But it's worth your mental. It's health. worth it. Trump worth is it. happier than any of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he's on happy. a new one now. I think. Yeah. There's like eight eight Twitter copies. Whatever let's, you call those. Let's do so. Like, can we do a couple of news stories, Matt? Do we have anything? Justin Timberlake went viral for the wrong reasons. Now he's saying sorry. Mm. The singer was caught performing an awkward dance routine during a performance in Washington, D.C. And he had a hilarious reply. D.C., I want to apologize to you for two reasons here and here. He said on Instagram stories, zooming to a close-up of his feet. I had a long talk with both of them individually and said, don't you ever do that to me again. Weinstein did the same thing to his dick on Instagram stories. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got—I don't get the dancing. I don't understand what what did he do? He just I don't danced. Know. That's why. Isn't that his job? There he is. He's bringing sexy back. Oh, he did a crip walk. Is that appropriation or some shit? It's a bad dance. He's not a good dancer. He has to apologize for dance. It's his job, isn't it? Oh man, this is getting out of control. What are we doing? I don't know. Lizzo apologized for saying spaz. Really? You yeah. can't say spaz? No, and that was in a rap song. It's like they talk about murdering people. I don't you think his dancing's say... that bad, honestly. I'm a terrible dancer, but I, I mean, I don't fucking Oh, know. I would kill to be able to do this. I'd cut a woman's hands off to be able to dance like that. But what do you think? Good looking guy? Uh, no. Oh, really? Not, Interesting. Not Jessica Biel? Oh. I think she's unbelievable She's looking. great. Unreal. Box office poison, though. Is she? She can't make a good movie to save her life. That and... show she was in is yeah, a hit, though. Yeah, she was though. in that show, people like. That What's show's a cool? hit. She's oh, like... all right. Well, good to have her back. But I'm talking movies. Hmm. Movies are dead anyway. <laughs> yeah, nobody saw Top Gun. Well, Top Gun and Thor, and then what else? Unless it's like a fucking summer blockbuster, no one's going to the theater, man. I know, it's sad. Because no I'm sure you had a great time at the Beacon with, with full, room, ro full room laugh from a movie. I was in between Phil Hanley and Dan Soder. We're watching Joe List movie, and I'm like, "This is special, man. It's our it's buddy. Beautiful. You know, it was a special night." But uh, yeah, who gives a fuck about this shit? I mean, come on. Yeah. What else? Beyond disturbing anti-assault billboard sparks controversy after resurfacing. This is in. I've never heard of Inverness, Florida, but it's in Florida. Uh, getting drunk is never an excuse. She's Whoa. your daughter, not your date. <sighs> We're calling incest out. What? Refugehouse.com. I mean, first off, what the fuck? What the fuck? We need a billboard to tell you that incest is bad? Yeah, I don't need alcohol to molest my daughter. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, Come she's on. hot. This is Florida. She's hot sober. <laughs> this reminds me of the end of Chinatown where the dad is explaining like how he could have raped his daughter and he was just like, at the right time in your life, you could do anything. <laughs> you just gloss right past it. Right. John Houston, legend. <laughs> Best picture. <laughs> Incredible movie, Lansky. One of the one of the best movies of all time. This is wild. Who paid? Somebody paid for this. The anti incest. I, I'm telling you, mark my words. Fifty years, incest will be accepted. I'm you telling think so? you because it's love. <laughs> we'll be we'll be in our 80s and we're just like, I don't get these kids. Yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> I don't get them. You wait and see. <laughs> in 50 years, we'll reconnect, and we'll all be fucking our cousins. Jeez. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with people? Yeah, well, we got too much time on our hands and everybody's got a voice. That's got to make you feel bad about where you live if you're driving by and you see that billboard. They don't have that shit in Manhattan. <laughs> oh, no, we haven't needed it yet. <laughs> Florida, baby. We have the options. 
Yeah. <laughs> You're on some of these fucking Inverness uh, Tinders. You you run out real quick. You're like, yeah. I guess I'm going to my family. <laughs> right. Yeah. But her personality was great. <laughs> Damn, what else we got? 6,000 bees removed from inside a wall of Omaha couple's home. About 6,000 bees were recently removed. Oh, it's the same thing twice. A uh, 100-year-old home, Thomas and Mary Lou Gautier, told the Omaha World Herald they have been planting bee-friendly flowers inside or outside their midtown home, but they never expected the bees to move in. That's insane. This is good, though, because aren't we, like, low on bees? <laughs> This is great. The bees are, they keep the world going around. They're putting bee friendly flowers. It's like if you decorated your home for Halloween and then got annoyed when kids showed up. Right. Right. Good point. You set this shit up. You put candy outside and a plastic pumpkin. It's, you know, look, I'm in New York. If I lived on a ground floor, I would not put cheese outside. Yeah. You know, like you got to be aware of what is out there. Good Omaha. Point. I've never been. I'm going there in a couple months, or oh. a month or so. Hey, well, you might get some honey because <laughs> uh, this is. There's got to be some good to this. There's got to be a good spin. Do they get honey in the apartment or no? You just get dead fucking bees. Are they dead? Oh, they're yeah, dead. They're just like gross dead bees. Oh, I'm picturing buzzing healthy bees. Oh, no, that's fucking gross. I- I'm drunk. <laughs> uh, Dina's fucking sauce. I'm, I'm still thinking about the incest thing. Can we go back to that? Let's go back to the incest. Yeah, what do you think? I Dina? thought of a bit. Uh, oh, here we go. A bit. Say, it's really hard to find someone you relate to. You know? uh, <laughs> oh, that's write there that we down. Go. Write it down. Good drunk brain. So you know what else? That's you a can... writer. The that's other... a writer right there, folks. Matt, clip it. Hire her. We got a whole incest chunk you can clip up for this one, but... man. But this is what it's like in the writer's room. They move past something, and I'm like, I need more time. And then I'm like, can we go back to like an hour ago when we were talking right. about that other thing? I have a good joke now. I would think a Gaffigan's bit when you see a movie too late. Oh, and he's like, I oh, want to yeah. talk about yeah. Heat now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You guys seen Heat? <laughs> this yeah. wine is going down like fucking sugar right now, dude. I'm sorry. Booger sugar. But uh, I will say... A good I, a good joke's a good joke. It shouldn't matter if it took you an extra hour. But also, another perk of uh, incest, you've already met the parents. <laughs> there we go. Now we got there a we joke. Go. UK tribunal uh, rules calling a bald man is sex... So let me do that again. I've been drinking too. <laughs> UK tribunal rules calling a man bald is sexual harassment... Uh, the tribunal, uh, whose members alluded to their own experience with hair loss, also compared calling a man bald to commenting on the size of a woman's breasts. Interesting. What? This is absurd. Interesting. Well, calling I mean, a man bald is never sexual. You're calling a woman's breasts out. That's sexual. What if it's... you're attracted to bald men? Okay, fine. If you're saying, fuck me, you bald motherfucker. <laughs> In that case, it is uh, sexual. But I think for the most part, breast versus bald is not an equal Sure. Equal they use the wrong here. term. It's body shaming, if anything, not ah, sexual. Ah, yes. Good call. Body shaming, exactly. Yeah. Sexual harassment, exactly. No one, Unless you have a bald fetish, which is different. Yeah. Wow. Well, we pick and choose with the body shaming. You know, we go, hey, Chris Christie's a fat fuck, huh? And then we all go, yeah. But then if you go, Lena Dunham's a fat fuck. Eh? People go, hey, hey. And you're like, well, which one is it? This is a sure. bit I'm trying to work on. Oh, really? Body shaming. I was, I remember at my first body shaming incident, I went to the dentist and he said, I have a clinically small mouth. Is that, that's, huh. is, that's, is it, but it sounds pornographic, right? Like, it what sounds is like he he's hitting on you. What are you measuring my mouth for? Like, yeah. too small for what? Right. You know, it would look big next to that mouth. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> he said he wanted to install a widening tool. Oh, that's filthy. It sounds like, that like, sounds like corn. clinical dirty talk. Yeah, yeah, it does. What what widening tool? Like the thing that like pushes like the, it out? Yeah, that, like put, it's like a retainer sort of, but like permanent. And then it like... Do you have a small know. mouth? I, don't I do. Really? Uh, trust me. Joe yeah, List is a type two mouth. She is a slow mouth. eater. Oh, okay. I'm a slow eater. No, 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 I'm not a slow eater. You're a slow eater. Okay. No? <laughs> I mean, I'm a fast eater. All right, I'm fast as hell. Like a married couple over yeah, here. Yeah, you're fast. I'm yeah. a fast eater. <laughs> anyway, I think your mouth looks perfectly normal. Thank you. Could use a widening tool. <laughs> yeah, Joe List has a type two mouth. So his doctor said the same thing. He's a small mouth. Yeah, really. He said your mouth is like uh, abnormally small, and uh, we can't get certain tools in there. Damn. 
Yeah. All right. Maybe it was a dentist, but either way, it's called a type two mouth. Teacher turned only fan star pregnant by student is keeping the baby. Well, zoom in on what the caption says. What does the caption say? Teacher turned only fan star. Oh yeah, she's a attractive teacher. If this is out of Florida, I'll uh, I'll finish that bottle of wine. That? Really? No, that's actually a I'm horrible bet. Up on that. Yeah, that's not a good. I don't know. You didn't do yourself any. I, I did it backwards. If this is not in Florida, I might have it on my phone. I'll eat man. my hat. Send me this. I, mean, I can read it. A lot of teachers fucking their students nowadays. A lot of female teachers. Well, that's the ones they report on the hot ones. Is that what it is? I think so, yeah. All right. This lady's a kook. And, uh, by the way, kids, they don't know how good they got it. Because we all had a hot teacher growing up. And back then, you could pay four ninety nine and see her naked. Your teacher? I mean, it's come on. It's pretty crazy. Oh, that happened in my school. There you go, lady. Yeah, she was a history teacher. She had implants. And then uh, she got fired for hooking up with a student. Wow. Fascinating. No, I guess mm. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here it is. Anonymous. She wrote, it's crazy that I'm having a baby with a former student, but the same thing could happen in any profession. That's not true, by the way. Mm. Teachers and professors. Right. You can't have a baby with a student in any profession. In her defense, it's a former student, and he was 22. Oh. So that kind of makes it okay. Yeah, yeah. that's actually. They but didn't they met when he was, they were, she was He was twenty-two. That's the story. She met when they were when he was sixteen. Yeah. But they, well, how about uh, President uh, Macron from France? He's he's married to his teacher. What's how is that any different? Mm, Thirty-three-year-old. It's crazy. I'm having is a it because she's very uh, she seems very uh, urbane? Is that why it's different? I mean, what's the, what's the difference here? I mean. She seems, I guess, more sophisticated, maybe, but... he's an, So it was totally legal. He was an adult when they had sex? I think so. Oh. But, but the problem good... is that they met when he was 16, I so guess. she's in trouble. I mean... And she's an OnlyFans star. It's, it's a good headline. This shit would never happen in France. That's all I'm saying. He's married to his teacher. She's like 30 years older than him. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is awesome. that right? Yeah. 25, maybe? Do you remember when it was like normal to count down to when like the Olsen twins would be legal? We were just talking about we that last talking. week. Really? That was a sign in New Orleans. Like, hey, counting down, two months to go. Oh my God. That was a big joke. I guess technically uh, they're, they're keeping it legal. But yeah, I mean, it's gross, but sure. it's also like at the same time. It's strange. It's a strange move, but that was like people were high five and look at that. They're taking photos with it. It was like a big deal. It is also weird that the ultimate fantasy. I mean, I know it's taboo, but it's like, isn't that the ultimate like porn search? Like my hot teacher. Mm. Of course. I mean, that's like we all fantasized about it. Like it's a rock song. Any guy who claims he didn't jack off to a teacher of his is full of shit. Oh yeah, we all did it. Yeah. I had a gym teacher who was, he was a hot guy. Directed <laughs> <laughs> off to him. But we all did it. Oh, yeah. Of course. I mean, that's a, it's an a adult woman in the room who knows your name. Yeah. it's You have to do it. It's like your friend's mom. We all jerked off to a friend's mom. Yeah. Or dad. <laughs> there you was go. It, you there was see? a dad that you found attractive. I mean, I mean, no. There was, never? What? No. Was it the religion that... Yeah, well, first of all, I didn't know how to masturbate until I was like 22. So really? That would not have been. Damn, yeah. weird. I cracked that code very early. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I got this I got this down. Oh, totally. Yeah. An expert by, you know, 12, 11, <laughs> 13. That's nice. And yeah. then you'd ask friends, like, you ever do that? And they're like, oh, my God. Now now we're off and running. I remember the first time I had a wet dream, I thought it was like, I was. I thought someone played a prank on me. I was like, maple syrup? What the fuck? <laughs> wow, that's some dark jizz you got there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just the, the texture. Oh, I see. I see. But yeah, I thought I wet the bed. Yeah. For sure. But there was never dads that you were like, that dad is attract. You didn't even feel that side of you? Well, I mean, there were, well, there were people I was attracted to. Like, I had a, there was a, my homeroom teacher, everyone had a crush on him. And he was really? great. One time we went to the mall and saw him with his girlfriend. We were like, ah. Oh. Uh, as though we could have hooked right. up with him. <laughs> what? Right. Did he have a hot girlfriend? Yes, for sure. Yeah. Um, so, Bowling yeah, no, of course. I had those feelings, but, like, I didn't know what to physically do with them. Sure. Confusing. Interesting. I also never had a, uh, a, a door for a long time. Oh. Like, <laughs> So we had an apartment that um, only had one bedroom, so my brother got to take it because 
Um, and so I had like a sectioned off part of the living room that was my room. So I never could have like done anything like that. Got it. So maybe Damn. in the bathroom. Um, I guess. I guess I didn't. It still just wasn't a thing on my mind. Of yeah, like yeah. You were you were oppressed, and yeah, there yeah, was yeah. the religious element yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah my my gal said she didn't see her vagina till she was like twenty one. Why? You just. I mean, they're hard to see. Yeah. They're they're you know downward facing Mirrors? dog. There. She didn't want to. Like, what are you gonna do? Step yeah. on a mirror? I guess you gotta go, you gotta get to go out of your way to see your for clam. Sure. You know. <laughs> So it wasn't until... Mark's self-help book. You got to go out of your way to see your clam. <laughs> it's available at Barnes & Noble today. I mean, it wasn't until I pulled out the old Super 8 that, uh, <laughs> you know, she saw that thing. But, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of ladies... And look, I'm just speaking uh, out of school here, but I think this is this is a weird area. You know, even, like, tampons. She was like, that was the first time I, I had done stuff with it. Yes, another thing in Islam, you're not supposed to use tampons. So Whoa. Wow. Nothing's got to go in there except for the dick of the guy you're married to. Whew. Damn. What about, so what do you go, Maxi? Yes, it was pads. Damn. Brutal. Wings or no wings? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen one Maxi pad commercial. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. And does your mom abide by all this? I haven't asked her. Yeah, it's I tough mean. to ask. Yeah. Bring her in. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> Bitch, you don't yeah. know me. All right. That's tough. Yeah, that's, I mean, that sounds, damn. Being a Muslim woman does not sound easy. <sighs> that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> fight the good the fight. Message out. <laughs> yeah, we got to make this cartoon. <laughs> yeah. Muzzy. Muslim lady, the first episode, tampon. <laughs> damn, Dina. Wait, Crazy. is that all the news? Okay. Is that it? All right, cool. All right, well, hey, you got any uh, dates you want to plug? Um, I'll be in Wisconsin from the uh, August 17th through the 20th. It's just random places in Wisconsin. You oh. can DM me if anyone's over there and wants to know. Yeah, hit the website. Oh, yeah, go to, or you, you have tickets on the site, huh? Ooh, no. Oh, my God, I haven't updated this. Uh, <laughs> so this is a nightmare. I have not updated this. Look at that uh, tiny uh, mouth. What the <laughs> fuck? That is a small <laughs> mouth. Yeah, there's nothing on that website. Um, Make sure to follow Dina on all social yeah. media platforms. Dina Hashem, uh, Twitter, Instagram. Yes, Have great writer, great jokes. Good stuff. Thank you. Funny comic, and uh, where are you going to be there, Sloppy Jalopy? Should we do bits before we go? Oh, geez, sorry. I mean, I'll plug some days. I mean, I'm, I got a lot coming up, but let's. should we do bits first? Hell yeah. Any bits? Let me see if I have I anything we worthwhile. I mean, I, I, got, I got a few minutes. Hold on, I got a mine on my phone here. Beep, 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 beep. All right, what do you, you got one uh, there, D? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I have a line that I just tried, and it bombed so horribly that I'm not sure. I can't nah. wait to hear it. I'm just trying to build on my abortion chunk, and I have this line where it's like, you you really feel old when you tell a doctor that you're pregnant and they assume that you want to keep it. <laughs> Is that something? I don't know. That's funny, yeah. Uh, I think it. it's uh, the crowd might not have – it's – I think it needs more of a connection, like a clearer leap. I feel like they're like, what do you mean? Mm, if you okay. say it's bombing, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, if you have, if you tell the doctor I'm pregnant and they assume you want to keep it, yeah, you're basically being like, no, I don't, I don't want this. It's like, it's a, it's a, like a thing. Like, I'm just a little girl. I can't be, I mean, look at me. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I can't this be. This little mouth, that. I can't even feed myself. <laughs> It's like the opposite of, you know, how women will get carded and be like, oh, I'm so complimented. Yeah. It's the opposite of that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah. I'm pregnant. Now exactly. I got to keep it. <laughs> that is that is like an, almost like a New York thing, I feel like, too. Like any other part of the country, they're like, yeah, I'm keeping it. Right. But it, it's like a coastal elite thing where we're like, yeah, we're not. We're not. I still got a lot of me to take care of. Yeah, yeah I still have dreams. Yeah. Uh, I still oh, have you're dreams. Is, you're saying you don't want to keep it. I went to the doctor to be like, we got to get rid of this. I thought it was implied. Oh, sorry. Okay. I fucked uh, maybe up. Maybe it needs more context. Yeah, I get yeah, it now. Yeah. I get it. That's funny. No, I think I'm just a little girl is funny. Yes. yes. Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I had, I had a similar, not a, it's, the joke's not similar, but it was a joke I couldn't really crack in my last hour. And now I'm kind of tweaking it for the next set. But it was about like, I slept with someone who was very different from me. We obviously couldn't have a kid together, but you know, I made the mistake and you know, 
plan B. We took care of it, but then she texted me like we should hang out again. She texted me two and a half weeks later, got my period. I write back, love it. You know, I was excited. <laughs> yeah. She said, uh, we should do it again. I said, well, I can't just get you a plan B every time we hook up. That's, you know, she's very different from me, very different beliefs. And she said, well, um, yeah, well, I mean, uh, we can't do that. And I said, well, if we got to that point, I've never paid for this, but we would have to get an abortion, obviously. And she goes, I would never do that. Mm. I was like, wow, you ever think you're for a woman's right to choose? And then it just, it turns out you're pro-abortion. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought I was a feminist. It turns out I'm a, I'm a monster. <laughs> right, right. So I think my angle is like, I'm pro my life. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's what that's I good. am. That's a good line. It hits sometimes. Sometimes it's like, <sighs> Yeah. It's such a touchy sub. Yeah, it's not because of the joke. It's just because people freeze up. Yeah, I feel like structurally it works, yeah, but it's yeah, one of those yeah. where I'm like, oh, we don't like you right now. Right, it's right. like one of those right. that you have to earn it. And I think I have to preface where I'm like, I'm not saying you should get abortions willy-nilly. I'm saying this is for like special occasions. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. I mean? Yeah. And maybe maybe the end of the bit could be something like, she had a miscarriage and we were both satisfied. You know, because no one had to get an abortion, but you still have the baby. I don't know. It's, it's like a nice uh, middle ground that everybody wins. I mean, it's not, I guess she doesn't win, but uh, you don't have the kid after a, all. We had a miscarriage. Everybody wins. <laughs> <laughs> Except the kid. <laughs> what do you got? Mom? But I'm saying it's, it's not, you didn't get an abortion. But you also don't have a kid, so it's kind of a nice There's something compromise. in what you were saying. I think we, you made me think of an abortion joke, so we're doing, Mark, are you going to keep the abortion trend <laughs> rolling? I had a dumb idea. This won't work, but I'll throw it out there just to stay on target here, on topic. But I looked into adoption because, you know, you hear all these kids out there with, the, with nothing going on. And nobody wants to help them. It's a shame, though. We buy everything online now. Everything's all over the place. You can read all these reviews, but you can't review a kid. Wouldn't that be nice if you could have a review on this kid? But then I realized nobody would buy the, or nobody would adopt the the fucked up one. Like I hung out with it, it was a little twitchy, for one star. You know, <laughs> I don't know if there's anything there, but it's definitely bombing. <laughs> I do like that idea. I mean, Re I just want it to be real, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, you can buy a fucking mug, and there's 18 reviews like, ah, oh, the mug, it's it's too heavy, it doesn't work, whatever. But kids, the biggest adoption of your life, you can't. This is an 18 year commitment, right? Can you tell me if he's gonna bite me for no reason? Exactly. Yeah, there's no what? return policy. There. No return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something. So yeah. That, that's the idea. No reviews on an adoption here's the, kid. Here's the twist. We need Amazon to get into the adoption game. There we go. <laughs> that might turn. be the bridge yeah. it that needs. That might be the thing. I yeah. like that. If Amazon got on board, my Shit God. Shit on Amazon all you want. They would they would get tight on the adoption game. Yes, they would. Overnight delivery. <laughs> <laughs> How come this kid's so good looking? I got Prime. <laughs> <laughs> I got a kid and a subscription to watch Bosch. <laughs> Pretty cool. Bosch. You love Bosch. <laughs> it's a good show. It is good. It's a good. It's a dad show. Sorry, I feel. I feel like I. I didn't get your bit. Now I get it, and I fucked it up. Oh, do we no, all no, just no, do no. kid bits? I love it. There's oh, like yeah. a theme here. Kid bits is the name of the uh, the Epstein doc. <laughs> but, uh, oh I think we got about nine Epstein jokes in this this episode. So that's I'm good. all over. I'm gonna be on the road. I'm where I'm gonna be. Uh, yeah, uh, fucking uh, San Jose, L. A., Pittsburgh, Dania Beach, Louisville, Irvine, Omaha, Phoenix, Lexington, New Brunswick, OKC, all over this shit. So Springfield, see you on the road. Hell yeah, same here, uh, Comedy Connections in Providence, San Antonio, Lexington, Houston, you name it, uh, Portland, Maine, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Toronto, Vancouver, uh, New Orleans, Philly, Boston, so come on out, say hello, check out Dina's stuff, we'll see you on the road, get on the Patreon, buy a mug, get a shirt. We might be drunkpod.com. The merch is outstanding. Bodega Cat. Yes. It's like, it's either out or it's almost out. So, you know, if it's already out, you know, but if it's almost out, it's like this fucking close. Yeah. And it's the best whiskey you're ever going to try. So I can't wait for you to try it. Have an abortion, adopt a kid, <laughs> and save a Muslim. We love you. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dina. And follow Thank Dina. You. Make sure to follow Dina. Please. She's a great comic. Hell yeah. Sunday's a day for my neck. about the fucking
Thank you.